I always, uh, even as a young guy, I always had a propensity towards machines and, and stuff like that. Uh, well, I grew up on the farm, and uh, from a very young age, my dad had me operating tractors and stuff and pulling uh, grain cars and stuff. And, and uh, I remember trying to back up two grain cars. I probably wasn't quite ready for that at that stage of the game. But um, I actually would have came into trucking a lot earlier. Um, but I made the mistake of listening to too many negative truckers that kind of steered me away from it. And one day I finally just said, you know what, that's enough. I need to find out for myself because a lot of people aren't happy no matter where they are. I need to see with my own eyes and don't turn them back. About a month or a month and a half ago, um, I reset in Nashville, Tennessee. And I thought, well, what am I gonna do with my time? I wanna use my time for something special here, right? So I um, decided I would go to the Sam Ash Music Center. And as I'm driving there, I'm thinking, you shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be doing this, right? And, uh, but I did it anyway. And uh, I walked in there and I started playing this guitar. And I started playing a little Johnny Cash like I usually do. And um, the sales rep, also, he gets up like right away and he comes back to me with the, that black Johnny Cash guitar. And I played it and it just melted on my lap. I said, I'm not leaving without this guitar. And so maybe I should have done that, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but in the end I'm happy I came home with it. Well, uh, my roots, I mean, my dad always played country and so that's what I learned first. I think I was probably about five years old. My dad taught me the three chords of C, G, and D which those three chords you can play quite a lot of songs uh, but I just kind of fumbled around and I got them and then I just kind of you know, gradually you know, I always talk to the guitar and stuff I always been a real fond of music and stuff all of a sudden I'll be driving and I'll be thinking of a song or, or a song I'll be playing and uh, I'll be just like I gotta try that I gotta try that, and then I got that fire in my belly, right? It's just like, okay, that's it. And as soon as I, as soon as I stop in the night, it's like I pull out the guitar and I wail out some tunes. I have no idea if somebody can hear me outside the truck or not, and I, <laughs> and I really don't care. I like the thought of bison because they're big. I thought, well, they're big, and there's going to be more opportunities, and they do turnpikes and stuff like that. And uh, they were very attractive to me. However, I had, you know, like two or three uh, companies in mind. But what, what, what I uh, ended up doing was, I ended up, I wanted to know if the drivers were happy. I would figure, I would go to like, every, anytime I stop for fuel, I'm going to go to the drivers. And if the drivers are happy, that tells me pretty much everything, right? And that's what I did. And every single driver was happy. And I said, no brainer. I didn't even check out the other companies. I just came straight to buy them.